Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be making one of these um, free face 32 amp 5 pin extension lead. So, it's really simple to make. I'm going to show you how to do it today. All you need is some 6mm 5 core, yep, 6mm 5 core cable. You need some pliers, sorry, some pliers, side cutters, ferro crimpers, and some ferrules. And obviously, you need some screwdrivers as well. So, at the start, we need to open up this male end or the female end. Choose one end. I will start the male end first. So you need a slotted screwdriver. As usual. So it does depend on which type of um, commando socket or plug you got. So for this one, you press on the black. Yep, can you see it? There you go. You press on the black area. Press it in. And now you can twist the entire case open, it's simple as that. Some of them you need to unscrew it from the inside. But for this one, you can see it, there's five pin. L1, L2, L3 and F. Next step, you need to score, open the cable, and well, you strip the cable. So what you do, use a knife, score around it lightly at the out outer layer. Don't go too hard, you don't want to damage any of the inner core because that could be problematic. If you have a cable stripper for this size of cable, go on, use that. And now you see, by the time I start snapping the cable around, oh, yep, there you go. So you can see here, if I can focus it, there you go, that could be a good bit. You bend it and you snap it, just like that. And there will be some white powder, can't remember what's the name of it. There you go. I always wipe it with alcohol on a cloth to clean off any of the conductor. It's just easier to handle so you don't make a mess. So in theory you should have five cable. But because the cable that I got is for industrial type, there's a rope in the middle, so that's for like increase the tension of the cable so it doesn't damage as easy. I normally just cut it with some side cutters. Just like that. So you've got five cable. They're all six mil. Now pop it through the case. One end. Tighten the case. Don't go over tighten yet. So it just doesn't slide all the way down. Now you've got five core. So it depends on how deep the terminals are and that depends how deep you strip the cables. I normally go 15mm oh, can you see it? and the earth one I always go 5mm more so like the earth one I go is 20 and all the others I go 15 So strip it. And always double check they're all roughly in the same length. Yep. So roughly they're all 15mm. It's alright if they're slightly off, not a problem because you have enough slack. And for the earth, I always strip slightly longer. You don't have to twist the end, but I normally do. It just makes life easier when you put a frill on. Remember, you can always pause the screen when it's too, when I'm going slightly too fast. So after you strip all the five core cable, time for some ferrule. Of course, try to clear up, but I'm probably too lazy about it. So find the right one. If I'm right, be the green one. Okay. Good ring is always six mil. Yep, perfect. So crimp the ferrule. Make sure it's tight. There you go. And now you just repeat it and do it to all the cores. 
It's alright if the earth sticks out a bit, because normally for the earth terminal, there's always two screw. So now, pop it through. Grab a posi screwdriver, or posi slotted screwdriver. So when I say posi slotted, I genuinely mean posi slotted. Reason it is, oh, I don't even can see it. Can you see it? There you go. It's not like a posi screwdriver, but there's like a slotted bit at this side as well. So it's genuinely called posi slotted screwdriver. There you go. Undo your the terminal. Don't undo it too much. Just roughly enough for you to put the cable into. And as I said, for the earth, there's always two screws. Well, most of the time for the earth, there's two screws. Remember to undo both of the earth screws just down there. And. I always put the earth in first because it sticks up the most. So earth goes into well, earth. Make sure it's tight enough. And now that's the tricky part. Okay, if you can't, if you don't know the free face color in your own country, search up on Google. But for most places. United Kingdom and Hong Kong, well, where I'm currently is, um, L1 is always brown. So same as UK, L1 is always brown. L2 is always black. If you, as I said, if you don't remember this, it's all right. Go on to Google, it will tell you. Search for your own country. L3 is always grey. Well, this is for the new colours only. I'm, I'm assuming you're making new cables, you will use new colours. If you're using old colours, they will be red, no, red, blue and yellow, I imagine, if I'm right. And the neutro is always blue. Make sure they're nice and tight, and that's your cable done. Oh, is it going to focus? How on earth to focus this? There you go. Just like that. Perfect, isn't it? Look quite nice. Now you pop the casing over, line it up. So normally it goes in, if you're using my type, and twist it to a clockwise position. And when you hair click, that's done. I always push the cable slightly in, and then tighten the cap. So that just give it a bit more slack inside, it won't be too tensed up. And there you go, that's the male end done. Let's do the female side. So, same, strip the cable, pop the casing open, it's the same on the both end. As I said, it does depend what kind of um, commando socket and plug you got, but for this, it's really easy, that's why I love them. So, slightly different looking, but pretty much the same. Okay, let's try to focus this first. Okay, you've got five terminal, L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth. The earth has also two screws, remember to loosen both of them. So it's prepped ready for the cables. There you go. Remember to pop the, ca the casing through the cable. Loosen it first, sometimes it does come in tight in. Same as before, strip the cable. For the earth, slightly longer. 
and all the others always do 15 mil. So, so when you're using this Nipex combi pliers, just go around it and push. I'm just going to come up straight away. Look how clean is that. I love these. There you go. Clean. How clean is that? And remember, the earth is always slightly longer. Twist the terminal. And do the same. Put, put the ferrule into. Pop the ferrule through. And push all the cables away. So it gets up to the way. And crimp it. Just like that. How simple that is. So, same as before. I always put the earth through first. Goes in the earth. Remember, tighten both of the screws. Not just one, but both. And remember, neutral is always blue. Neutral is blue for new colours. Live. Well, brown is always L1. Black is always L2. There you go. Tighten it a fair amount. Now it's pretty much done, just like that. Line the capping up, oh, so it goes like that, I'm pretty sure, I assume, yeah, the other side. There you go, and same, line it up, push it in, twist, clockwise, pop the cable in slightly and tighten the cap. And that's your three-phase cable done. Thanks for watching and see you soon.